Oh, I think life is absolutely an amazing adventure. It's like the most excited adventure ever. Before the age of seven, I, I would have said I was totally a creative being. That, you know, a very much kind of... Um, I never felt any boundaries, any restrictions or anything. I completely engaged with the here and now and everything else. And I think from... As I kind of got older, um, I kind of, I suppose, be, adapted, I suppose, more to kind of my, like my mum and dad have come from a professional background, so it's almost like, so that's it, that's the work, that's the answer, because it was the answer for them, so it's the answer for me. I think there's like, most people are like a construct of what everybody else has kind of wanted them to be, or it's almost like you come into contact with something and they go, okay, have that bit. I think one of the things I, I've, I've learned to do is work out very clearly what's my stuff. So, um, my thoughts, my feelings, my views, my opinions, my whatever that might be, being clear about what those things are, so that when, when I do get information coming in, I can work out, is that mine or is it not mine? No, it's not. That's yours. Thanks. I've always had, um, a, I suppose, a strong sense of who I am, yeah, and um, a strong sense of kind of um, that I am different, and it, and it's you know it's good to be different. It feels alive when you're different because you are different. You're unique. You're not, you know, every one of us is completely different, and that's what's so fabulous about everything. So, and the more you understand that, the more you realise that it's not. You know, the value, the, the, the joy in it is actually being different, not actually being the same. And actually, you know, um, enjoying other people's differences as well, which is great. Because that's what connects us. The fact that, I, you know, you let go, don't you? When suddenly I'm not trying to get you to be like me and I'm trying to get to be like you, you let go of it, you think. It's an incredibly powerful feeling when you make that connection with who you really are. It took me a long time, I suppose, to realise that one of the things that um, that, it, that people feel in that place is love. They've never felt that before, but it's love, really. Because that when you make that connection to who you really are, you actually love who you really are. Because you, you recognise that you were... You, you know, you've got a purpose here, you are different than everybody else and you have a huge contribution to make, you know, for yourself and, and for, for everybody else. And that, um, and that is just a, a, a really lovely place to be. But one thing that set me off on my journey, and I couldn't get it out of my head, was The Wizard of Oz. When, and, and I kept seeing myself as Dorothy. I kept getting these flashes of me being in the Wizards of Oz film, which was a bizarre experience. <laughs> you know, so, I'm trying, okay, okay. And the more I kind of explored it from, with myself, the more I started to recognise that I was looking for the Wizards of Oz. I was looking for someone who's got the answers. Uh, who, you know, who's got those answers. And if you remember in the film, when Dorothy gets to the Wizards of Oz, First of all, it's like this huge kind of god-like figure, and of course, when she looks behind it, it's a little man who's pathetic, weak, you know, got no courage and everything else, and she realises that the only person who's going to get her home is her.
Aren't we really looking for ourselves? <laughs> Look at you, you're fabulous. You don't need to do anything, do you, really? Just be who you are.